Hi, I am Suri Saxena, Assistant Professor in IMS University Courses Campus, Ghaziabad. Today, we will take instruction cycle for a discussion. Okay. So, what is instruction cycle? As we know, the instruction is simply a code which is given to the computer or to the processor to do something. Okay. So, now the time take to execute by the processor to any instruction is called as instruction cycle. In the easiest word, I can say that the time period during which one instruction is fast from memory and execute when a computer given an instruction in machine language is called that instruction cycle or instruction cycle means the time period during which any instruction firstly fetched from the memory. This is the responsibility of control unit to fetch the instruction stored in the memory and after that execute it, execute that fetched information by its decoding, by its decision and by its executing phase by following these all phases we will discuss these phases in this flip class also okay now further going on each instruction is further divided into sequence of phases so in short we can say that instruction cycle includes mainly four phases within it after the execution the program counter is incremented to point to the next instruction that means what that means simply is this instruction cycle is an ongoing process is a cycle which keeps its ongoing scenario until the halt condition does not exist because every instruction is to be executed by the processor or by the CU or ALU for the efficient and fruitful results. Now we will discuss and we will see the four important phases of instruction cycle. These four phases are applied to each and every instruction which is to be executed by the processor. These are the sequential we can not overlapping these all for example first of all comes fetch phase fetch means fetch phase means to fetch the data from the memory it is the responsibility of control unit after fetching the data in the binary form from uh, from the memory by the cu that is control unit control units responsibility again comes to decode that fetched binary information decoding means to uh, recognize the pattern of that fetched binary strip or binary string uh, that what opcode what operation what operands are besides within that fetched binary instruction and after that the decision will be taken out that the fetched instruction is the memory reference instruction input output reference instruction or register reference instruction okay and at last the ALU perform its job by executing that particular instruction okay we will understand these all four phases very easily by following flowchart now um, before coming to the flowchart, these all uh, we can uh, we can give the snapshot of these uh, four phases. As uh, first of all, from the memory uh, instruction is to be fetched by the control unit, then decoded by the control unit, or recognize the pattern of that fetched binary uh, binary information. Then ALU execute that uh, execute that fetched and decoded binary. Uh, binary information and lastly it again stored to the memory now we will discuss about the flowchart first of all to start the flowchart sequence point sequence counter stands to be zero uh, as sequence counter initiate the timing clock pulse at time zero or t zero 
PC is value transferred or assigned to the address register because PC always holds the next instructions address to be executed. So now first instruction which is to be executed is placed to the AR or address of that instruction is placed to the address register. Now memory address register will assigned to the IR that is instruction register. We know the working of instruction register because every instruction which is being executed it code resides within the instruction register. So at this particular time snap PC increments its value by PC PC new value is equal to PC old value plus one or PC old values increment assigned to the PC new value so that next instruction to be fetched out can be fetched next instruction to be executed out can be fetched so we can say uh, we can say that these uh, these two phases uh, are coming in the first phase of instruction cycle that we know earlier that is fetch phase okay now uh, as the uh, symbol or as the coding is uh, denoting us that decode opcode. Decode op opcode means uh, to, uh, to understand this we should understand uh, the earlier R concept that is instruction format because each instruction which is coming have its particular 16 bit of instruction format as we know first 0 to 11 bit are assigned to the address field that is 0 to 11 uh, bit are assigned to this address field after that 12 13 and uh, uh, um, 12 13 and 14 these four bits are assigned to the opcode field which is that opcode field are assigned over here at time t2 and the last that is 15th bit is assigned to the I. I, um, I denotes the, the instruction to be fetched is uh, the uh, direct reference or indirect reference instruction. Okay, so this opcode and this is for address. Now, at this particular time, T2, uh, the CU control unit decodes the fetched instruction from the first phase and segregate all its part that in this form that instruction in instruction register 12 to 14 bits that is 12 13 and 14 bit assigned to the opcode or encounter the opcode which operation is to be performed is to be recognized at this particular time ir instruction registers 0 to 11 values are assigned to the address registers and IR's 15th bit that is I bit is assigned to the I to uh, recognize it is either 0 or 1 or that is memory reference instruction or is uh, indirect instruction or direct instruction. So this is our decoding phase okay this is our decoding phase now the decision phase arises as it is represented by the decision boxes d7 is the decoder which uh, because op code has three bit over there so uh, it's have the three inputs as uh, d7 if d7 it if d7 implies its value to one that is all the three bits having the value as one 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 so this is the three bit maximum binary is seven in decimal number system it is written as a seven okay so if uh, this uh, this sequence is arises that is triple one so the first and decoded instruction should be either register reference instruction or input output reference instruction input output instruction okay and if this decoder have any value other than triple one that is zero zero one one zero 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 one one zero any of that so this will directly applies that fast and decoded instruction is the memory reference instruction now further coming to memory reference instruction it is either be direct or indirect the decision the uh, the decision is uh, taken by this i this 
instruction formats are if its value have as zero so it is the direct direct memory reference or if i has the value as one that it implies that is there is an indirect memory reference okay so now if it is the direct reference instruction then we have to compute nothing directly the instruction will be executed in this execution phase so this is the execution phase okay and this is our decision phase okay nice so now if on the another part if i has its value as a one so it implies that it is a indirect memory reference now we will have to compute its efficient its effective address by this by transferring or assigning the memory address register to the address register at this at this point of time at t3 we are having the effective address of our indirect reference instruction either in both the cases execution should be done by the alu unit so execution has done uh, of that fetched decode and decided instruction on the other hand if uh, if i have the value as a one or zero or in other words i can say that if the fetched and decoded instruction is the register reference instruction or input output instruction the execution will be performed by the alu itself and in all the four case all the three cases one two and three three implies both direct and indirect so in all these three or we can say four cases we should assign the sequence counter to zero because we have to execute the another instruction too because we as we have discussed earlier this is the ongoing cycle so to receive or to execute the another instruction this sc have its value as zero and comes to the displays so that now another instructions execution take place okay so this is the uh, efficient working of any instruction cycle which we have discussed in detail okay uh, so thanks a lot for viewing uh, wish you good luck thank you